Hi you guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel and we are here in Bonita Springs, actually Valencia Bonita, uh, where I actually am the sports director. And today I have some special guests, uh, Deco Bar, all the way from Israel, yep. but he is actually kind of moved into uh, Andy's house here in Bonita Springs. Thanks Andy. Yeah, there you go. Shout out to Andy. Uh, and also we got our attorney here, Jim Nietzsche. <laughs> Law firm of Jim Nietzsche. Uh, anyways, we, what we're going to be doing today is uh, Deco is going to explain, uh, is going to talk about his beautiful return and why it's such a great return and why it works. So I hope you enjoy it. One of the reasons why this return is so effective uh, is what, like, what are some, some of the things that you think why people you should utilize a slice return? So a slice return goes through the air a lot like slower you have more time to get to the net and into the kitchen yep. um, also it skids through the court which is very difficult for a lot of people it's harder to drop where should they stand because again a lot of the times when you play with better players one thing that you're going to notice the serve comes a lot faster and a lot deeper and one mistake that we see is what yeah. Yeah, a lot of people stand right on the baseline when they're returning the ball, and then the ball lands here, they have no time. They take it as a half volley, very Which difficult to do. To, to create a slice. Yeah, oh, definitely very hard to create slice. You usually just pop it up, shorten the court, and then they have an easy third ball, and you don't get close to the kitchen. So a good thing, what I like to do is stand, you know, a few feet behind the baseline, get ready, stay low, and if the return is deep, I'm ready, I have time to react. If it's short, then I come in forward and get the ball. So then what are you going to look to do? So if you are back there, you're standing further behind. So one of the myths I think that people believe is because you're further behind, now you are further away from the kitchen line. So what are you looking to do when you're back there that you're going to return with that slice? What are you doing? What is your body doing? So my body is moving forward while I'm hitting the shot. If I'm staying here and they hit a deep ball, my, back, my body will go backwards. So if I'm back here, the ball lands pretty deep, but I can still go forward through the shot and into the kitchen faster than if I was standing close to the baseline. Perfect. Now let's talk about technique. What are, so for the forehand slice, what is the first thing that we're looking for here? So if I'm getting a, a forehand return, I want to hit a forehand slice. I'm usually aiming for middle or cross court, so I have, so my ball goes through the air longer. It's uh, I have more area to hit it in. I'm gonna take a nice short backswing so the ball doesn't get behind me, and a little follow through and come in. Okay, and just to be sure, you're keeping your continental grip yes. all the way through. Mm -hmm. Perfect. So, so, and then uh, as well as the follow the follow through. One of the things that we notice a lot is that people tend to think of the follow through that they have to go side to side. And then what, what happens when that happens? When you go across your body? When you go across your body, the ball will go across too. So it'll go, you'll miss it wide. It'll just get out of, out of control. So what do your paddle looks like when you're going through? So, so you... my paddle is facing where I want to hit the ball all the way through. So if I'm aiming cross court, it'll be this way through when the whole shot. When you make that contact yeah. point, yes. Mm -hmm. So at contact, that when he makes contact with the ball, wherever that pedal is facing, it's not so much about the finish, but it's when he's coming through, when he makes contact with the, with the ball, that's where that ball is gonna go. Yeah. Then if it finishes over, it'll still be okay. The problem is when people tend to go here and now the pedal face is on an angle and then coming across yeah. the body. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Uh, what about the back end? What does the back end look like? The back end, uh, the backswing is the same thing. Nice and simple. Don't need too much. You'll, again, you'll be late. Uh, and same thing like the forehand. When you hit the ball, when you contact the ball, you want it, the face to be where you're aiming. You do, again, you don't wanna Pull you know, pull, body, yeah. pull your body and then the ball will pull as well. So, contact point, facing where you're hitting. And one very important thing that, again, uh, if we get mathematical here, if we talk about degrees, is that <laughs> uh, when Deco is hitting the ball, if you notice, his paddle is at kind of like a 45 degree angle. That's what helps, it's not one myth is that a lot of people think when they have to, to hit yeah. the slice, they think it's the chopping. Yeah, the chop with the wrist. So the wrist stays firm. 
uh, the slice comes from the ball going through the paddle there you go. and not you know from from any wristy action it's it counts from the yeah just going through the paddle Perfect. the paddle will do the job for you there you go that's it especially the prince paddle will do the best job for you all right so i'm standing a couple feet behind the baseline slicing the ball and i have more time to get to the net Oh, there comes Jimbo. Jim is just too good. Oh, look at that defense. Uh, ah! Yes! All right, but because I was moving forward, I had more time to get into the net and then take the first ball from the air, which is what we want. Nice. That's Ooh. a really good return. So, yeah, a, a nice deep slice return to the middle or cross court. It's the best way to go if you want to get the first ball out of the air. He had to hit a perfect drop there uh, for, to get it to my feet, uh, to get it to bounce. Okay. Nice. So you see, I'm not even hitting the ball that hard. It's just a nice motion, simple, pretty deep. It's very hard to uh, get a good drop out of it. So what was really because again it became difficult to do a good third shot drop can you explain what became why did it become so difficult uh, well the ball was moving slower it just kind of died at the end and it was really low so i had to really get down and try to lift it in the air and, and the then harder you try to lift it the higher it goes and then he smashes it and again that's exactly what daco wants that's what he's going to get an easier ball that he can keep the advantage instead of giving away the advantage on the first ball. So uh, can you say, so, so let's go over again, uh, what, are, what would you say the top three advantages of hitting a slice return are? So number one is getting uh, to the kitchen uh, in time. Basically I have more time to get into the kitchen because the ball floats through the air more. Uh, second big advantage is the skid of the ball. When it bounces, it stays low. Uh, it's harder for, the, uh, for them to hit a nice third shot. Um, and yeah, very important to stay back, stay, take a couple step back from the baseline, make sure you have enough space and enough time to really hit that slice. Uh, and yeah, and it doesn't, you know, nothing th with the wrist. It's nice and simple motion. If you saw, I didn't, you know, I didn't hit it hard or anything. It's nice and smooth. You don't have to hit it really, put a lot of effort into it. Perfect. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And again, don't forget to subscribe uh, to our channel. You can click the button somewhere, you know, in there. there yeah, there. you're looking. There you go. That way, that way. Yeah, I'm oh, sure. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much, and we'll see you soon.